We have the most amazing team ever, do we not? And so we take that energy and that essence inside our heart and we calm our minds because a trained mind allows for an open heart. And so in this space, and keep in mind wherever you are, wherever you're located in the world, the space is the space you claim. And we're creating right now, we are working with creating a space that we are enveloping our city, our state, bless our nation, <laughs> bringing in that energy and our, and our world. And we're creating space, and I invite you to visualize that you have Mother Earth with all the 80 to 90 percent water and all the beautiful land and all the beautiful animals and all the people that exist and all the new babies that are just being born right now. Yes. And just out picture the world that you are seeking that divinely is occurring within you. And in this space of meditation, we invoke the world we long for in our soul. The very nature and reason that you and I decided to incarnate during this time. And that is the part to understand. Don't be affirming how can the world be this or that. Ask yourself, in my preparation of coming here to the world, what am I bringing? Am I being true? For I have found so many times in my life when I'm pointing hands or elbows at someone else, there's something enriching and necessary that's going on within me that allows me to see where do I need to step up? Where do I need to stand up? Where do I need to evolve? And so this is more of a walking meditation. I dare any of you to sleep today, to close your eyes and doze off. We've had enough of that going on already. And though that is a great form of meditation, this is not the day for it. This is the day to stand up, to take a walk with your friends and your family and be real clear what you're walking for. And more importantly, be clear what you're walking with because you are walking with spirit and you are walking with the truth. And I'm going to say it once again. I dare you to say you love God and only love certain things because if you love God, you love all things that God created and there are no accidents in what God meant and there are no accidents in what God intended. That's your issue, not the collective. And so stand in that new creation of space that you allow this truth to immerse in your life energetically and spiritually and put your name on every opportunity you have time. What is the name that you are calling? What is the power that you are bringing in? We're counting on you. This is the reason you came. And so it is. And so it shall be, because we have named it, and so it is. Bless you.